This video is going to take you through the installation of your front suspension and your shock absorbers. You'll need to firstly remove any powder coating from your A-arm loops. Then using lithium molly grease insert the bushes into the arms and insert the metal sleeve. Sometimes these need a bit of persuasion. Wipe off any excess molly grease. You'll now need to use the molly grease on the uh, A-arm loops themselves and using the bolt supplied make sure these have grease on them also. Insert your A-arm into position and using the bolts and the washers fix in place. So here we're using setup bars just so the bottom arm doesn't hang down. We're now going to go ahead and uh, build up the bushes for the top arms. You'll have two rubber pieces with an outer metal sleeve. Make sure these are used plenty of molly grease. Once you're at this stage you can insert the bush into the A-arm and again a little bit of persuasion may be needed. Make sure there's plenty of grease at this point of the build. You can then go ahead and install the center metal sleeve. On the rockers what we want is some nice movement with a little bit of tension in there. Make sure there's plenty of molly grease going on both parts all on the outers. Use your white thrust washers and place the A-arm in place with the high tensile bolts supplied. So make sure you're using all the washers and the correct bolts uh, supplied with the kit. And Once all the threads are located both sides you can wipe off any excess uh, grease over the arms and we can go ahead and tighten these bolts. Now we're only going to go to a point where we're just nipping these up at this point and uh, we can revisit the setup later. A arms want to be in their neutral position because we're then going to go ahead now and do the cross links. So you have four rose joints, two right hand, two left hand. Going to add a little bit of grease. We're going to screw these into the cross link bars. Be sure to get the right left hand and the right hand threads in the correct end. We're going to start at the top and we're going to install the first bolt through the first rose joint. Now you'll have to unscrew this and this is why we want the suspension sort of at a neutral point because then you can uh, undo the thread and install the bottom rose joint. You'll need to use a little spacer to offset the cross links so they don't touch. You can now go ahead and do the same thing for the other cross link. The front hub ball joints need 115 newton meters of torque and you can install it with Loctite but also you'll see we've filed a little notch for the securing ring to be fitted. Make sure you're using plenty of Loctite. This is the ball joint going into the top A-arm. Once it's in, again, 115 newton meters on the torque wrench, and then a good helping of Loctite on the top edge. This is the top plate uh, for the front hub going in. Uh, incidentally, the red tool that you're seeing in the video can be supplied, uh, brought on the XCS shop. And once this is secure to the top ball joint, we have uh, 85 uh, newton meters on the torque wrench again. The red tool that can then be taken off. The front hub can then be installed. Again, 85 newton meters for that bottom ball joint. Bolt supplied, top plate goes onto the front hub. So the top plate should be fitted with the hole slots um, going side to side to the car, not front to back. Start with one bolt and um, once you've got one located, we should be able to get the other three in. 
so the bearing and flange assembly is bolted to the hub with the four high tensile bolts supplied. So we're going to move on to installing the brake disc and the calipers and carriers. The disc can be held on by one of the wheel nut bolts and the caliper carrier as you can see can now be attached to the hub with the bolt supplied in the kit. Starting at the bottom we'll get one in hand tight and then the second one find the threads nice and easy. We can do these up, nip them up for a moment and we'll do final fit at the end. Make sure all pads are clean, you can add a little bit of the uh, copper grease onto the sliders. Once they're in place you can now install the caliper. We're making sure that the inlet for the brake pipes is pointing upwards. So we're going to start with the top bolt and once that's in hand tight you'll find that the bottom bolt should swing into place. Once this is done up we can go ahead and do our final tighten check. So we're going to move on to installing the shock absorbers. First take the setup bars out and let the suspension go to full droop. We're going to add some grease to the top and bottom bushes of the shock absorbers. And we're going to place the shock absorber in place and secure from the top first. This way um, to help you lift up the, the weight of the front suspension a trolley jack can be used and we can bolt and secure in place. So we're moving on to the rear shock absorbers. We're taking out the setup bars. We're going to use grease again on the beam end and we're going to start by fitting the shock absorber onto the beam. The adjustment for the shock absorbers is facing the outside of the car and we're going to do this hand tight. Now the top mount, um, we are going to make sure that it's bolted from the front to the rear so that bolt comes through from the front of the car to the rear of the car that nut is on the rear of the car this is really really important so you can go ahead and uh, tighten all these up and then moving on to tightening up the bottom of the shock so moving on to the steering rack you will have a small rubber a big rubber a small clamp and a big clamp they go on like this you'll also have a spacer that goes under the big clamp you have four bolts supplied with the kit and they attach to the chassis like so go ahead and uh, get these all finger tight first once you're happy everything's in place you can then go ahead and tighten these up so now we can move on to installing the steering rack extensions like so and the track rod ends making sure the triangle part of the track rod end is pointing towards the rear of the car.